The morning greets you with a musical alarm, and the sun's bright glow welcomes you to a new day. You greet it back with a tired, ugh, another day. With heavy feet, you shuffle to the coffee maker to get the day started. Lately, you've been waking up feeling exhausted, and it has been affecting your daytime routine. You've had half your usual appetite, and your friends are starting to wonder when you'll wake from social hibernation. You take a deep breath, envisioning the weekend where you can sleep according to your body's natural cycle. Perhaps you wonder why your sleep patterns are so different from your peers. Later that day, you begin an internet search. Surprisingly, there's an article that addresses your questions on sleep chronotypes. Reading on, your curiosity rises as you begin to learn about the different chronotypes and where you fit in. Keep watching, because we're about to review the different chronotypes. What determines a chronotype? Age, environment, and personality can influence your chronotype. However, the biggest factor is a person's genetic makeup. Scientists have connected chronotypes to the PER3 gene, and its length determines one's chronotype. A person who is an early bird wakes and retires relatively early at night will have longer PER3 genes. A person with shorter PER3 genes will be inclined to be more active at night. What are the types of chronotypes? Years ago, scientists identified three types of chronotypes – early birds, hummingbirds, and night owls. Thanks to recent scientific discoveries, chronotypes have been identified as four types. The bear chronotype is the most common. These are sun-to-sun -sun schedules. The bear chronotype's energy peaks in daylight and diminishes as the sun dips. A person with this chronotype succeeds in the standard 9 to 5 workday easily due to their resting well at night. An estimated 50% of the general population is the bear chronotype. The lion chronotype will be an early riser and most active in the morning. At night, a person with the lion chronotype experiences a slump in energy so keeping up with night schedules could be difficult. The wolf chronotype is the parallel of a night owl. In this particular chronotype, a person will wake up late at night and be most productive. An average 9 to 5 would not work for this chronotype as they have a difficult time waking early in the morning. The dolphin chronotype people are the light sleepers. They do not follow a regular sleep pattern and may suffer from insomnia. Sit tight, because we're going to get into why knowing your chronotype can help you be a better rested and productive version of yourself, and how to go about finding out your chronotype. What else is there to know about sleep chronotypes? How will identifying your personal chronotype be helpful in your sleep and wake cycles? For starters, it will deliver you something most sought after, a better night's sleep. Second, you will learn about your personal productive hours and how to use those more efficiently. Third, knowing your chronotype will help you understand and manage mental health. Studies link certain personality traits such as being meticulous to specific chronotypes. So, how do you figure out which sleep chronotype you have? First, observe your sleep and wake preferences. Perhaps journal notes about when you feel most sleepy and most awake. Through this, you will notice an established pattern that fits the described chronotypes. There are online sleep chronotype questionnaires, like the Morningness Eveningness Questionnaire MEQs, and the Munich Chronotype Questionnaire MCTQ. Some final thoughts. Your body relies on good, restful sleep for its overall well-being. It is crucial for mental health wellness and productivity. You can sleep better and improve the quality of your life by identifying your sleep chronotype. If you continue to suffer from sleeplessness, you may have an undiagnosed sleep disorder. It's in your best interest to speak with your doctor. Help is available.